All right. Hi, everybody. And welcome to the Enhanced Contact Center with Salesforce and AWS. Really excited to be here today. My name is Asaf ben Gur, and I'm the product lead for Salesforce Channels and Contact Centers. And I'm honored to be joined by Mark. Hey everybody, Mark Rutkowski. I'm a principal product manager for Amazon Connect. Been with Connect since we launched it back in 2017. The, you know, we're a lightning talk, so we've got less than 20 minutes. So I've got the timer to get going. We've got about 19 minutes left, so we're going to go through this as, as best we can because we've got a demo to show as well as part of this. So let's go. Sounds like a plan. Before we start, we want to share with you the forward-looking statement. Don't make any purchase decisions based on non-generally available product. Let's start a little bit with the challenge of contact centers today. When your customers phone in today, they expect your agents to be super knowledgeable about who they are, what type of relationship they have with you. They, they expect them to be super knowledgeable and experts in solving the issue that they have. Instead, the experience they're getting is being put on hold because your agent is trying to stitch the customer profile in real time behind the scenes. And when they're ready to action and resolve the issue that they called about, they need to swivel share between multiple systems. We keep hearing three things from contact center leaders today. They want to boost agent productivity with high customer satisfaction. They want to reduce operating costs because it's still considered a heavy cost center for the company. And now more than ever, they want to actively participate in growing the top line for the company. They want an active role in growing the revenue for the company. So after resolving the customer issue, they want to free up their agents to quickly focus on upselling and cross-selling. And AI, specifically generative and adjacent experiences, exactly the technology that can help you transform your contact centers. It's intuitive, it's smarter, it's faster, it's everything we need to take the contact centers to the next level. But it's not easy. We know a lot of those projects just fail. You can't sh take, just, uh, take AI and just slap it on your data and on your channels and hope for good. Remember that agent that go and stitch your customer profile because it's all over? Your data is all over. Your channels completely disconnected. Your call center completely disconnected from your digital channels. Your agents can do either telephony or they can do email or messaging. They're not versatile. They're walking off of totally different systems and totally different desktops. And last but not least, AI is the new toy. Everybody in your company wants to do something with AI. Your marketing team is doing something completely different from your sales team that is doing com something different from your servicing team. And your R&D and product team, just last week they had this amazing hackathon and they came up with an amazing way using AI to solve a specific use case. That single use case, amazing. But the contact center leaders and the CIO specifically are being left with a lot of like point solutions completely fragmented across. And this is exactly where Salesforce and Amazon Connect came together to bring you an experience, come taking channels natively from Salesforce or bring them over from Amazon Connect and give your agents and your contact center experience one unified, cohesive, standardized way to manage everything customer interaction in one single space. From agentic self-service portals to channels like WhatsApp, chat, email, voice that is coming in from Amazon Connect, Apple Messaging for Business, Line for Japan, we have all the channels you need in order to standardize all this experience throughout the customer lifecycle journey. And all those channels are agent force, AI agent ready. The same agent force builder helps you to build this logic in one place and then distribute it and attach it to any channel that you need. You need a channel to completely automate your email interaction, just use the same agent. You need that channel to walk off of your WhatsApp experience, your line, your web chat, that same agent. And now as of October, yeah. thanks to Mark and Amazon Connect, we have a fully integrated solution with Agent Force Voice running on top of the Amazon Connect voice channel. And our, our other channels as well, right? And so this is where the key aspect of this, it gives you that optionality between our platforms, right? Because we both bring rich capabilities. We're on your digital engagement and your voice interactions and you know basically because that we can run whether it's using Salesforce's native agent force agents or it's using Amazon Connect's AI agents, you have that flexibility in terms of enabling that and having the right fit for each of your use cases in the contact center and CRM. Exactly. And now that you free up your agents from focus on like T1 FAQ type of interactions, they have a lot more bandwidth to focus on more high value interactions. 
really focus on the, the interactions where you need a human touch. You need them for dealing with escalation, those like more of the complex type of experiences. And this is where all the assistive AI capabilities come in. Things like service replies attached to your email channel grounded by your knowledge. That same email reply application and service reply application apply to your messaging channels, your WhatsApp, your web chat, your Apple business for messaging. At the end of the call, you want to reduce that wrap-up time. Call summarization help you to reduce minutes out of it so you can free up your human agent to focus on the next interaction. And last but not least is your supervisor. It's a whole new world for your supervisors. Yesterday, they just managed uh, just the labor, uh, the labor uh, human labor uh, works, work, workforce. Now they need to manage all those AI agents. This is why we transformed our Omni supervisor to be command center for service. Really bring in a cockpit, one single unified workplace that allow you to manage both your human agents and your AI agents. So your supervisor can get alerts in real time and, red, and, and flag raise based on conversations that your AI agents are, are driving and then be able to listen in and interject where needed. But there's so much more. I know, Mark, you guys have been busy in the last yes, nine months, like yes. building the next wave of innovation. So. Yeah, so let me, let me talk a little bit in terms of what we've, we've actually announced this week. And I'll talk a little bit in terms of the integration that we have with the Salesforce Contact Center with Amazon Connect. Yeah, thank you for the clicker. So um, back in March, we announced and launched Salesforce Contact Center with Amazon Connect. I know that's a mouthful. So for the rest of the presentation, you're going to hear me use, use the term SCCAC, because it's a lot easier to say uh, from that perspective. Back in March, when we announced and, and launched this, essentially what it was was we worked super closely with Salesforce and we saw a lot of success that we had with uh, Agent Force Voice in terms of enabling that with a lot of our core contact centers. But what customers really wanted was they wanted additional channels, they wanted additional connect capabilities that were unified as part of Agent Force Voice. So when we released this in March, we were actually the first contact center to implement Bring Your Own Chat, which essentially takes our native chat and it integrates with Salesforce's chat capabilities. So the advantage of that is that you know, when you're in Connect and you're in our IVR experience, you can be leverage our voice, you can leverage our native chat, but when it gets to the point of actually escalating to an agent, we actually then send it in through Salesforce's chat UX, and it essentially pops up as a native Salesforce chat within Agent Force Voice. So the advantage of that is, from an agent perspective, whether they're using Salesforce chat or our native chat, it looks the same. You get that deep, rich integration across the capability. So for example, being able to have those pre-configured replies, right, to be able to answer you know, those customer inquiries that are that often happening and giving agents shortcut to quickly answer questions, we can, we can enable that really easily and, and, and natively within Salesforce as part of that. The other aspect of that and what we announced this week is now what we started to do is really then start to expand additional Connect capabilities. So what you, you probably heard a lot this week with Connect is us announcing our native AI agents uh, integrated as part of Connect. And part of that is really giving you out of the box AI agents that you can start to leverage both from a self-service perspective as well as an agent assist perspective. So what we announced this week is essentially the next version of SCCAC, which now allows you to add agent assist capabilities with Connect AI agents natively within Agent Force Voice. So the advantage of that now is essentially, you, you know, from a self-service perspective, whether using our voice or our chat channels, you can have that, that rich AI agent experience and then handle, uh, handle all of that interaction you know, through the agent force voice experience. And then as the agent is trying to continue to resolve the issue with that context, for example, they could be plugging into Salesforce knowledge base you know, for getting all the SOPs and recommendations. And essentially as they go through that, and I'll show a demo of this in a little bit, have that interaction, you know, walk through that, and then give the agent the, essentially the right recommendations to solve that issue as quickly as possible. Once the chat or the voice call is over, at that point, give them the summary of the interaction that they have so they can quickly update the Salesforce case to ensure that, you know, there is, as Asafa mentioned earlier, like saving often minutes, right, from the agent's time in terms of, in terms of improving their overall productivity to not only solve the issue, but then update the issue from an after call work perspective. And what you see here is you see, you know, we've got quite a rich roadmap in, in terms of capabilities that we've recently announced uh, in terms of overall sets of features. Um, you know, what I just talked about here was essentially our agent assist and summarization capabilities. I'll do a demo of that in a few minutes. What's that? Yeah. Okay. You know, so, and then real-time transcription for additional languages. So back at uh, Dreamforce, Salesforce announced the additional support. So that runs a lot on our core under 
line capabilities like Amazon Transcribe, and it really talks to the global capabilities that we have as a better together story. So Connect brings that, particularly around our telephony capabilities, is global telephony, we bring that at scale in terms of the, you know, in terms of managed telephony across the entire world. And part of that is really now with, you know, with Salesforce from an agent experience, you get all the language support around all of that as well. So again, we are truly a global solution in terms of all the capabilities that you get between Salesforce and Amazon Connect. Uh, we had also announced Agent Force Voice with Amazon Connect, so in terms of supporting third-party voice experiences, we now enable that uh, as part of Amazon Connect as well. And then finally, from a workforce management perspective, if you're using our chat and our voice capabilities, you can leverage our workforce management or FCS capabilities, forecasting capacity planning, and scheduling capabilities natively within Connect. Uh, and from a roadmap perspective, we're working with Salesforce to start to support their channels in the in the future as well. So again, we continue. You can see we continue to evolve the overall capabilities and integration between the two in terms of overall feature sets and just richer and richer integrations overall. So let's let's jump into a demo. Let's see. I'm looking at my clock. I got eight minutes and 34 seconds. So Plan new. <laughs> plenty of time here. So let's let's see if we can go through the demo. All right, perfect. And so this is, this is a bit of a click-through demo uh, because nobody trusts me doing live demos, especially <laughs> on stage when I've only got 20 minutes to, <laughs> to walk through. Nah, actually, less than that, eight minutes now. So, um, so we've got, so just to set up some background, so this is any company, it's an energy company, use case that we talked through here. Um, we've got Nikki as the customer, she's coming in, she has a problem with her, with her generator. And we're going to help her basically solve that issue uh, with, you see, within a few clicks uh, overall from that perspective. So the chat comes in. Um, essentially, what you see here is, uh, actually, this is always the challenge here. There we go. And so um, we have the chat here with Nikki, you know, and she say, thank you for contacting us. Now again, this is, um, for the sake of speed, we're doing a fairly simple use case here. But you can imagine this could be using you know, one of our AI agents. It could be using Agent Force agents in terms of creating that interaction, that self-service experience in terms of overall capabilities around that. Once, you know, once we escalate to an agent, which is what we're going to show here, essentially all the contacts of that iteration gets handed over to Nikki as part of that. So essentially at this point, the, the chat comes in. Uh, Nikki gets this essentially omni uh, item in terms of being able to answer the chat as part of that. This is her dashboard, by the way, so she has a rich dashboard in terms of seeing how, how she's doing overall across her day. Great, we click on that. And now, at this point, you see the chat, the messaging window. Again, this you can see it's, it's, it's if you're familiar with Salesforce's chat window, it looks very, it's similar, it's identical to that in terms of that overall interaction. They're having that interaction from that perspective. Now, a few clicks later, you know, she's asking essentially, you know, where I need guidance on a generator installation. Can you please help? Sure, right? So at this point, in real time, the Connect AI agent, which is also hooked, to a, uh, hooked up to a Salesforce knowledge base, is now understanding the intent and the ask that's happening as part of the chat. And as part of that, it's now going to provide a recommendation back to the agent, where the agent can then you know, quickly read that and then provide that guidance back to Nikki in terms of solving this overall generator issue. In addition to that, it's also going to provide the links to the sources. So if the agent you know, wants to, again, with a human in the middle, being able to look at in terms of the sources of that data and do a little bit deeper research if needed, uh, they, have, you know, they can understand where that information is coming from, which is great. They can also search as well. So if, if it doesn't quite meet in terms of what they're looking for in terms of a recommendation, they can easily there and continue to go search through the knowledge base for additional answers as part of that. So great, the agent responds you know, as part of that interaction. And then we solve Nikki's problem. And then at the end, you see there up in the upper right corner is the Amazon Connect summarization. So now we've taken that end-to-end -end interaction, that half from a chat perspective, and we've summarized that, and then essentially we can update the case you know, within a few clicks, and you know, we've, we've solved the, the overall issue again. So you can see here that we've taken the native Amazon Connect capabilities, and we've integrated into the Salesforce, Agent Force Voice experience, and really providing that overall unified experience overall. So Mark, the, the agents don't need to log in into multiple systems. They, they the agents just walk in. off of that one single unified desktop. Exactly, exactly. So we, we, we've, we've removed a lot of the, the heavy lifting, right, that, that our customers will have to do in terms of integrating these capabilities. And we've made it from an out of the box perspective, simple, easy to set up, configure, and, and start to enable. Perfect. All right, so let's switch back to the presentation. Do, 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 do. All right. 
So some of the things here to, to note here too is um, Amazon Connect, we have tens of thousands of customers sorting more than 16 million interactions a day. So this really talks to the scale uh, at which Amazon Connects is leveraged and deployed with, you can see here, the numerous customers. And we have a lot of joint customers that are also Salesforce customers that we work super closely, like Vista, Truist, Air Canada are all great examples in terms of who use this integration today and have continued to scale this you know, overall across you know, solving their, their, their key contact center capabilities and, and problems that they have overall. So again, we've seen a lot of success you know, from that overall. And, for, and just as a reminder, oh, go ahead. Did you want to say something? And so, we, you know. we have just you know thousands of joint customers already. Thousands of joint customers, like today, growing really, really nicely. You know, yes. double digit, almost yep. hitting like 100 million voice call a month. Yes. yes. And Absolutely. this is amazing number uh, for for Amazon Connect across all yeah. customers. We, we are we are the largest contact center, right? In terms of leveraging this with Salesforce, in terms of the integration capabilities that we have, and. For those of you that were in PQ session yesterday, I'm just, I brought this up as another reminder. Last year, in terms of you know, the number of customer interactions that are using AI, you know, within using Amazon Connect to optimize those interactions, it was about six billion a year ago. We've doubled that now to 12 billion. So again, it continues to show the fact that we have used AI from the beginning with Connect, and we continue to use that journey, and we continue to enable that natively within Connect, but also working closely with our partners like Salesforce to give you that, those capabilities as well, right, from a joint perspective, better together story as we, as we work together to continue to evolve what is, I'd say, is a very fast, rapidly changing space from that perspective. Sure. But it is, one of the, it is the number one use case is the contact center for, with AI. And so you know, we're here working together in terms of how do we best solve your use cases as end customers and, and large enterprises to make sure that you know, we're meeting that to the speed and capabilities that you need from a, an overall contact center and CRM perspective. And so with that, I've got two minutes and 40 <laughs> seconds, so I think I did all right. Um, and with that, so you know, what I'll say, we, we've got our booths here, so definitely come, you know, come visit the Salesforce booth, uh, booth number 739, I think it's like right over there. Uh, from that perspective, and then come visit the Amazon Connect booth. That's hard to miss. It's that big idea, but AWS one that's right in the middle. Uh, I've got a QR code here as well. And then obviously, for those of you who have uh, your account teams, feel free to reach out to them. They can definitely, you know, in terms of getting you up to speed on all the capabilities. Uh, follow me on LinkedIn. Follow us off on LinkedIn. I, we, I posted a bunch of stuff up there as well, so you can take a look in terms of you know links in terms of how to get more information about. Agent Force Voice or SCCAC, right? We, we've got all that information up there and obviously we're here as well, so happy to have the conversation and talk some more about it. And regardless of what footprint they have, right? Yes. Like whether they have other point solutions that they want to go and transform and take it to the next stage potentially yep. with Salesforce and Amazon Connect or whether you already invested in Amazon Connect channels or you want to evaluate Salesforce channels and bring it all along, we have the solution yep. for you. We've built it in a modular way that can build bring all this modularity and all these components together meaningfully for your agent and supervisor. So we're looking forward for any next steps here. Great. And with that, we thank you everybody for attending today. And I did it with a minute left. So thanks everybody. <laughs> Have a good rest of your day.